People often ask me, when is a good time to go through with a rebrand? And that's a valid question because rebrands can be really expensive and really time consuming. So today I want to quickly go through three reasons it might be time to rebrand your business. So today we're talking about rebranding and really quickly rebranding is just redoing or re-examining your current brand, your logos, colors, tone of voice, verbal messaging, all of those things that go into your brand identity. The trick is that not many people know when to rebrand and so that's why I wanted to make this video to give you some signs that you can look for to kind of indicate that it might be time to go through with that rebrand. Now I will be the first one to admit that I must prefer working with a startup where there is no brand and creating a brand from scratch than rebranding an existing brand. Rebrands are really tough and they're tough to get right because there's already an established brand. There's already brand equity built up in customers' minds. When you embark on a rebrand, you're looking at facing a host of challenges that just aren't even there when you're working with a startup. For example, you've got nostalgia tied to that logo, and you've got the way it's always been done, which is something you have to fight. And also, the niece effect. I call it the niece effect, and it's based on a story that actually happened to me where I had somebody say, I don't want to change that logo because my niece made it and I don't want to offend her. Even with these challenges, rebrands are often extremely necessary and they produce great results for companies that do it correctly. So as a quick note here, if you're considering a rebrand, make sure you hire a brand designer, somebody who knows what they're doing so that you can ensure that it's done right. So what are the three reasons that you should be considering a rebrand? Well, number one and probably most obvious is that you've lost touch with your audience. See, a lot of small businesses, they lose touch with their audience and they don't even realize that they have. But if your audience isn't relationally invested, if they're viewing your product or service as a transactional thing, then it's time to re-examine that brand. Remember that our goal with branding is to move a customer away from being just a transactional customer, I purchased this product because I need this service, to somebody who wants to be a fan of the company. They want to get involved on a deeper level, support you as a company because they believe in your mission and your values, and they're going to tell all of their friends about your great company. So if you're not seeing that out of your current customer base, if you're not seeing those referrals, if you're not seeing people wanting to get involved and wanting to use you on a reoccurring basis, then you may may have lost touch with your audience. A lot of times if our logo is super outdated or our website is hard to navigate, maybe our print material is too cluttered with information, customers are getting distracted and they're not really taking those steps to become invested in your company. So if you're struggling with getting your audience to relate to you, it's a great time to bring in a brand designer and just examine how we're doing our branding. The second reason that you should be thinking about a rebrand is if your brand no longer supports the product or service that your business is offering. A lot of times in a fast-paced business environment, you have to quickly make pivots and change your business model to adapt and follow the cash. Well, if your old brand is pigeonholed into one service or one type of offering, it won't support that new growth and you're gonna end up confusing your audience because you're gonna be showing them one thing in your brand but telling them another. For example, let's say that you're an auto mechanic and you open your auto shop and use a logo of a wrench. Well, over time, you find out that you're actually really good at detailing vehicles and you start really advertising your detailing services and you actually end up pivoting to become a detail shop instead of an auto mechanic shop. Well, the problem you're facing now is that you you have a logo of a wrench, but you're not promoting a service that relates to that logo mark. So you're giving two different visual signals to your customers. And this is a really great quick note for brand designers. If you're creating a brand identity, make sure that you build logo designs that are versatile so that as a company pivots and changes, that it will still fit the logo and the brand that you've created for them. Think about Apple, for example. Apple was originally a computer and printer company. If their logo would have been related to computers and printers, it wouldn't have aged well considering that now 
Apple is actually more well known for their phones. A logo design has to be versatile enough and unique enough that it can support the business growth even if that business model pivots. So don't get pigeonholed into thinking that your logo design has to have some aspect or element of what you do embedded into the design itself. And if this is currently you, if you have a business where your logo doesn't really match what you do anymore, then it's probably time to consider a rebrand. Even if you're going to lose some of that brand equity at first, because you're changing your logo and you're changing your brand, you're going to be much better off in the long run branding with something that's going to support the services or the product that you now offer. The third reason that you should rebrand or be considering a rebrand is if your competitors in your industry are seen as a higher quality option or a more credible option than your business. Let's think about two different company brochures. If one company brochure is just printed on the printer in regular letter paper, cluttered with information, it's hard to decipher and read, and doesn't look very professional, and then another brochure is sleekly designed, minimalist, and printed on high quality paper from a professional print shop, and both brochures are handed to the same customer. The customer is going to feel like the business with the nice brochure put more time and energy and effort into building a relationship with them than the one that is obviously not done as well. It's the same with your brand. If one brand looks extremely nice, premium quality, your material looks good, you speak in a way that relates to your audience, your customers are going to pick up on that and they're going to feel like you want to have a relationship with them and they're going to want to reciprocate that with a relationship with you. Even if you're a small business and you're competing against a global giant, I've seen a lot of global or national companies that do a horrible job branding. You have an opportunity to be better. You can still be perceived as a higher quality option. These are the three key reasons that you should really be considering a rebrand. If any of these three things are happening, if you're not relating to your audience, if your brand doesn't support your product or service, or if your competitors are just viewed as a higher quality option, then it's probably time to get a brand designer involved and figure out how we can better reach our audience. Now really quickly, there is a fourth option to rebrand that I do think is extremely valid, and that is if you're planning to go into a high growth season. See, as you grow, it becomes a lot harder to maintain the core values of your company. If your company is built on honesty, integrity, high quality service, then as you hire people and expand and grow, those things become harder to manage. It does make sense if you're planning on going into a season of high growth or planning on making a big marketing push that you bring a brand designer in and make sure that all of your strategy is aligned and that your brand values are well ingrained in everything that you're doing. That will just help when you do make that big push that everything is on par and communicating the right values you want your brand to reflect. So that is a fourth option where even if your brand is phenomenal, it might be a good idea to bring a strategist in and just make sure everything is in alignment before you make that big jump. I hope you learned something about branding in this video and if you're considering a rebrand or you think that it might be something your company needs to do, I'd be more than happy to chat with you about what a rebrand process looks like or if that's even something that you need right now. If you enjoyed this content, please like, comment, and share it and consider subscribing on YouTube because it really helps me out and I'll see you all in the next video.